Hey everyone, Lonely Homesteader here. Getting up into my little top room on the trailer. Because this is the only semi-warm spot I have to start seeds. So, I figured now's the time hopefully to get some seeds going let's see purple russian tomatoes oh good we got some black beauties but i think right now we are going to just start with my favorite, which would be Cherokee Purple. Uh, I gotta have some in here somewhere. Wow, I might just have to start this video all over. I can't find any Cherokee Purple. That's not good. It could be in here with the cherries, but I doubt it. I got so many tomato seeds. I don't have room to put them all in one thing. Oh, mortgage lifters. Uh, oh, mortgage lifters. This is a great tomato, but hard to grow. More mortgage lifters. Tons of gold metal. Gold metal is really hard tomato to grow. These are all gold metal. Great. I don't have any Cherokee purple. That's unreal. I must have used them all last season. But I didn't know. Well... You could always go for a lot of mortgage lifters. Because I got a lot of those. Yeah. It's not even with the tomatillos. But. Right now. We got this. This is a 72 cell seed tray. It, uh, you don't need something like this. You can start them in a pot. You can start them right where you're going to plant them. You can do just about whatever you want. But when you're planting them in a cell tray like this, I like to just poke down an eighth to a quarter of an inch. And you just drop your seeds in there. So basically, the smaller the seed, the lower depth you go. If you have a big seed like a pea or something like that, you'll probably go about an inch down. But tomato seeds are really small. So you don't need to go very deep. And one of these days, I'll build a tray that just fits over this and pokes all the holes at once. But this is just basic seed starting. It's pretty easy. I'll show you some of the tomato seeds. They're really small. So you can put one to two per hole, two if you want to ensure germination in each slot. But basically, you just take them and start putting them in and just keep going until you're done. When I do peas, I usually just do one per hole. 
because they're generally pretty good at germinating and tomatoes are a little tougher we'll clean up some of these over there and we just keep dropping them in oops that was a lot see how many it dropped there so i'm going to try and clean some of those up and move them over here <clears throat> And away we go. Like I said, this cell holds 72 plants. So if you're not producing on a mass scale like I am, you can plant just about anywhere. The reason I do this is to get an early start. And hopefully I'll be getting tomatoes early in the season. If you get more than one that grows up, you can just uh, you can just um, snip off the weak ones and keep the best looking one, and just cover it in like that. I'll put some more holes over here so I don't forget where I left off. Not sure you could see that, probably not, but I don't want to forget where I put seeds and where I didn't put seeds because I'm just going to do a short little video. And there we go. And there we go on this end. And then all you do is spray it down, get it nice and moist. Then what I like to use is these kind of incubator tops. You put that on and it holds the moisture in. So you have to water less. I do check them every day and I'll spritz them if I need to. But if you can see over here on this one, you could see water drops. So the water comes up but it can't evaporate and then it'll drop back down when it's cooler so that's basically it for a little basic seed starting of tomatoes and other smaller seeds i'll finish this whole cell off and then probably start about 10 more of these cells with different types of tomatoes but now i gotta go order me some Cherokee purple on the computer which sucks because I've been downloading the last video for an hour now it's still or uploading and it still won't upload because my internet stinks out here I should have got Starlink but when I called them they said it might not be available in your area for over a year well, it's been a year, so my friend has it, and they love it. But, uh, yeah, they want you to pay 500 bucks for the equipment up front, and I don't have that right now, so... And I don't know if I can get out my contract with this other ridiculous company. So, <laughs> I gotta get on there, order some seeds real soon. Hopefully this video gets done, and my internet improves well that's it for seed starting right now i'll see y'all later adios and god bless